All right, so apparently that first time was a fluke, so now it's working. Yay. All right. Let me hide this. Back here. Actually, I don't want to put it there. I want to put it here. I'm going to put this there. All right. So we are reviewing This Is Friendship. Yes. Indeed we are. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Let's let's watch the track. <laughs> oh. Ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. A glorious story about a kid who meets a shadow creature. What? <laughs> Just commenting on the opening. Is this the shadow creature? <laughs> yeah, that might be the shadow creature. <laughs> I ran into darkness. And that's the kid. Yes. <laughs> I have to say, uh, uh, your silhouette looks like you're 12. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's sad. Because <laughs> you're like in the lower half of the screen. Anyway. Yeah. Still have a little bit of like baby fat going on as well. It works. It's cute. But anyhow, uh, as for the track, track. itself, it's a track. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Yeah. Like, just from a standpoint of, while both are great track makers, I knew it was going to have a lot of manuals, and while OTDEs have the more organic, shapely feel to them, Galibau's most notable manual track had the straight lines, the circular curves, and everything that OTDEs normally isn't. Yeah. Um, so I, I was very happily surprised about that sort of thing. That they blended? Yeah. And they did a damn good job of it, too. Some of the recycles were a bit forced, but hey, you know, that's recycles in general. <laughs> All recycles are forced. The cake is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> but no, especially when no you No one ever so accidentally recycles anything. <laughs> when you use so many of them in a track, it's impossible not to make them feel a little bit... T uh, I, I think that the critique that recycles are forced is silly. I think all recycles are, by definition, forced. <laughs> I guess, in a way, okay. everything is forced, is it not? What if Line Rider isn't forced? You are literally, every line is forcing him <laughs> to do a thing. We're getting way too deep here. <laughs> uh... I don't know. I don't, I don't have much to say about the track, to be honest. I probably will come up with things later, but I I can't think of anything to say. That's um, a good start to a quick review. Yay! <laughs> That's quick I have no idea what I'm talking about. This is fun. Um, this, this is a really quick review. Very quick. Okay, we're done. <laughs> well, I, I like the message. I guess we could talk a little bit about the message that was Oh, yeah. Involved. That the was fun. I mean, just the fact that it's two friends across the world making a track, which is something that you don't normally see played up in a collab, right. you know, which was fun. I like that. Especially as a community, this was like very heartwarming and brought yeah. together the fact that even though we're across oceans, we still have a common interest. Yeah, that's true. And I think that would read to someone who wasn't familiar with the community who watched this and was like, oh, that's fun. Actually, I know it would because I showed it to people who were not in the community and they were like, oh, that was their, that was their favorite aspect of the track was that it was two friends from across the world. Yeah. All right. I'm going to watch it again, but in slow motion. Oh. Ooh. Edgy. <laughs> so edgy. Radical. So, so, so new. So, not, so... Like, not like anything we've ever done on this show before. <laughs> Never done anything like it. This will be unlike anything you've ever seen. <laughs> All right, all right, and I think now is probably a good time to go, go into slow motion. So here we are. First part's old. Uh, How old is old? Just curious. Actually, you know what? I'm going to skip to the color replay so we can see who did what and whatever. Um, wow, choppy hand waving. Because <laughs> slow motion. Yeah. Uh, okay. This me. So this is like apparently super old, right? Yeah, this is like a couple years. Oh, it, it doesn't look that old to me. Nah. 
Uh, some of the last parts of it are more recent, but the first bit, like the first four seconds or so, is from like 2013. I don't if know. I'm being honest, I think I've seen it before. Like whenever we did the random screen sharing stuff, we always do Skype call <laughs> stuff. I think you yeah. might have showed me this one. The opening is uh, modified from building stories, actually. Mm. So oh, it's okay. been released before. Only the first integration bit. The rest of it is new. Um, I was channeling Opal there pretty hard with the... Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's, it looks very much like contemporary Opal stuff. <laughs> for being as old as it was. And then yeah. I guess this part isn't old. Well, that part wasn't old anymore. And this part's definitely yeah. not old. Um, is, this, is, this, is he recycling you here? Yes, this is entirely a recycle. Well, not this, but... <laughs> Probably a lot of multi-lining, too. But yeah. just, holy guacamole, dude. <laughs> I was like, are you serious right now? This so part just... right here, that was the recycle that really got me. What part? Uh, the fling recycle on the flannel that happened. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm going to go back. <laughs> oh, wait, that was, that was where I wanted to be. Okay. Um... So this is a recycle. So he uses one that, stabilizer this is all recycle. and recycles yeah. the tail manual, which then flips over to flips another around. tail manual, sort of. Well, not really. But then anyway, he goes back around. This, this isn't just, recycled, but it's this integrating. The next with part the, is the this way. part. Is that recycled. part's recycled. Wait, no, it's not because he's just well, going I mean, up. Maybe not line he for line, but it. the space is recycled. Yeah, it was before he went down, right? And then that yeah. time he went up, so it looks all fancy. Is this mm -hmm. recycled? It's no, going to be. It's going. It, it'll be later. Okay. Yeah, it has the alt fling right there. I just like the idea of like you know. That's very very gal. Yeah. The idea airtime, of you know. airtime pause and then a nose alt. <laughs> no, uh, actually, I'm I'm really curious. What do you mean by the idea of you know? Friends, friends recycle the parts of the, the their other friend did, you know. Okay, and so it goes so, back into the this is friendship dealio. Yeah, so the first, it, so he would basically take my part and recycle bits of it, and I would take his part and recycle bits of that. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even catch that. That's okay. <laughs> it's uh. really well thought out, and I feel bad for not. <laughs> That's okay. And this is the it's, third recycle of this part, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. And then, and I, then I, I have to say, I really this. like the bumpy tail manual that we saw a while back, where he's like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, that was You fun. showed me that on Skype after you made it, and I liked it. That's some neato airtime recycle that Gao did there. That's a, another thing that's very Gao. Yeah. I think this like is how not, you know I don't watch the color replays is because you literally said the points of this track in the color <laughs> replays. I don't know. I guess I don't, I don't feel like I have a lot to say about the track. It's a cool track in concept. Or not in concept, but in like, you know, what it the idea of what it was, you know, two friends. And mm. I liked how you played that up. Um, but in terms of, like, the track itself, it's sort of just a manu quirk to me. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's you use that phrase a lot. Like, just a manu quirk is well, pretty common in the community. I, that's, yeah, which is why I'm tired of manu quirks. <laughs> But interestingly everywhere. enough, you're one of the most fierce defenders that my style is different from a lot of other people's on the site. I think what so, I like about your style has to do with the fact that um, the flow is radically different and the... Um, yeah, Abandoned 2 in particular. And, and how it like parts of it are slow or they're pause there's pauses that are much much longer than you'll find in say anything by splash or leo um, i do genuinely like the idea of stop and go that was one of my favorite styles whenever i was first starting out um, well i feel like the the kind of tracks you we're getting a little off topic but whatever a little the bit but kind I mean, of we're tracks still that you about manual work so. the kind of tracks that you make um are like 
actually stop and go versus like when I watch Volatile, it doesn't feel like stop and go. It feels like stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. <laughs> like it's so fast that it doesn't feel like it's actually stopping right. and actually going. It's just constant, um, constant changing of speed. Whereas your tracks feel like they, they pause and then they go and then they pause and then they go. And it feels much more fluid that way. Yeah. Um, so I, I do feel like yours are different. Um, and I don't so, think that this track falls in that category. Bringing it back to <laughs> the, the track itself, yeah, yeah. Like, the main difference between some tracks and others, a, a standard Mania Quirk would be the flow of it, how it's portrayed. Except that I feel like we have such nuanced critique of flow that it's like, it's, I feel like the vast majority of Mania Quirks have flow that is essentially the same. That's just me, though. Right. I have a rad. I have radical. I'm gonna have to interrupt you there because this know. track has 100% real flow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something I do want to talk about more. I'm not sure if this is the time or the place, but I I want to figure out like what makes certain mania track mania quirk tracks different from others. I, at least I some. would argue that most of them are not. <laughs> Well, I'm sure. Yeah, we. I mean, but they like, are, if but we they're go so like, more in depth tiny... later on. I'd argue that um, I, I, uh, I, there I, are there are differences, but the differences are so subtle that they lose importance to yeah. it in light of a larger discussion on accessibility, enjoyability, and tracks. Right. I, the the flow can be of many different little different sort of types and categorizations, but ultimately that minutia is sort of I would insignificant say, in the tide of uh, other things. I also think that a reason that, Opal, that I like a lot of your tracks is because it's, I feel kind of like it's like, like a baby step towards something that might not be monotonous, but I don't, I don't yet feel like it's anything that you've released is like uh. really something else. But it's like getting closer to something that might be something else, if you know what I mean. Maybe. Sort of. A so, little bit. Yeah. Whatever. There's a sort of a paradigm in Mandy Cork that everything has to be sort of either constant movement or like just constant impressiveness. Like I don't know about impressiveness, but like constant change in rotation and direction and speed like if it's once you go the next thing to do is to stop and then if you haven't like if you haven't done any rotation for the last 10 frames you have to spin him and if you've been spinning him for the last half second you have to stop him and you know it's like everything is about how much can we change over the next few frames from what we just did or um Sometimes it's more like, over the next second, how do we change something? But then, um, I don't know. I feel like that's just such a micro level, and I'd like people to be thinking more, like, what are we going to do over the next 30 seconds? <laughs> you know? No one thinks about that. No one's like, what am I going to do for this 30-second chunk of this track? If they're making a manu quirk, anyway. Hmm. Unless they're syncing to music. Well, even, even beyond, then, well, yeah. Usually it's not. I, I'd argue that music syncing is the only real planning that you can do beyond that. Unless that you're is doing false. something, in, unless you're doing something incredibly crazy with shape. If you want him to go in a certain direction because of something that the track does, then that that's sort of contradicting what I just I don't, said. I I also don't think that if you're doing music syncing, I don't think that that is the end of the conversation. It's like, oh, what, what am I going to do with my track? Oh, it's a music sync manu quirk. And that's the end of what the track is. You know, well, okay, right. what else? There's got to be more to it than just... Is there, a, a, is there a message? Is there some... Message is something you can figure out at the beginning of the track. However, like, if you're planning so far into it, I think you would already have that down. But I would say e even tracks that I really, really like that have great music syncing like Eden 2 or This Is Love, don't really think too much about what's going to happen over the next 30 seconds. They usually right. think about what's going to happen over the next 5 seconds, or the next 10 well, seconds. Well, This Is most. Love, that's another thing. Like, 
you brought up the idea of a uh, theme, and I think that track goes into it in great detail with every single 10 seconds being a new contact point. Yeah, well, that, that one worked because it did it methodically, but peop usually people just do it somewhat sloppily without thinking about it, you know? Mm -hmm. They, you know, switch what they're doing up every couple seconds without really thinking about why they're doing that every couple seconds, like why they're doing this new thing, <laughs> except that, well, I haven't done that yet. That's usually, you know, that's... Yeah, variation, <laughs> I mean, variation is important to the track. Uh, I'm not going to deny that. Well, but if you focus on, I'm going to make a track with lots of variation, you end up with a track that feels kind of monotonous. Monotonous, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's not really about the, well, I guess it kind of is, actually. A little bit. I feel we like this track does Gally have Gally a lot of variation. Ideals with this is love. I feel so like around the same track makers. What what happened with this track is, uh, we we sort of made this track within the paradigm of it's a manu quirk because that's yeah. the first part I sent to him, and I think I sent it to him, uh, probably before I started like really thinking about line writer like critically like uh, how can i make this have like a, a message or something like that and what i ended up trying to do in the editing is sort of convey a thing uh that the track couldn't necessarily do on its own i had to make yeah, sure that the yeah. editing pull its own weight and you you pretty much succeeded in that I'd go so far to say you definitely succeeded with the editing, especially in the uh, heartwarming feel that yeah. you're trying to give off. Yeah. Yes, the story it, of a lovely platonic relationship between a shadow creature and a... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I would say, though, that the, the editing was um, stronger than the track. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the thing. That's uh, as a thought. <laughs> you're not wrong. I spent a lot of time editing, so <laughs> <laughs> I if the editing's stronger than the track, it's probably a track I made. <laughs> I I just I guess I wouldn't say that that would be a thing that I would want to strive for. Is yeah, I'm gonna make a mediocre track and then put some really great editing. <laughs> like, I mean, and then people th that's will love not it. what I was going for. <laughs> I know. But yeah. If, if that happens, it's kind of understandable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess that's my verdict. <laughs> Is that all we have to say? Yeah. What What should we conclude this this with? OK track enhanced by editing. And this is OK track. <laughs> this is a thing. Yay. Great this conclusion, a guys. A plus. <laughs> this is a review. This is why we're reviewing things, because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> that is the only reason. We don't know what we're doing, therefore, we review things. <laughs> Where is the lie? Why else would you review Where is the things? lie? This is, this is a level of truth I, I'm quite unable to deal with right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, on that note, thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, bye. See you. <laughs>